What is up, YouTube? Yes, I'm upside down. Um, I'm filming pretty much right above me, so that way it's easier so you guys can see what's going on right here with my hands. So today I was on the phone, I was helping a customer with the barren end cap situation, and um, he was having a hard time putting the barren end cap back onto uh, the motor. And so I guided him right away to the YouTube videos since there is one I posted uh, actually about two years back, but I sent him over to that. But after talking to him, what I realized was he wasn't having an issue with actually the bearing end cap itself. Is It's actually his issue was, and I'll show you right here. So I got a brand new motor taken out of the box here. Um, his issue he was having was when he removed the black cap, he was holding it and the whole guts and the armature fell out. So with that being said, when it all fell out, he couldn't get it back together. So that figure, or uh, Vic actually, when I got off the phone said, you know what, that's actually a great idea for a video. So I said, you know, let's do it. I'll do it at the end of the day. We'll make it easier. And also uh, hopefully he's watching so he can get his car back together uh, before the weekend. So I'm gonna try to upload this tonight as quick as I, po as I possibly can. So this is a standard street motor. Uh, I just took it out of the box. Um, this is the street one because the street's gonna have the black cap. The comp is gonna have the, like the five spoke with the, the chrome. Um, so you guys see when the motors come shipped, they have the little square nuts on here. These are like kind of retaining nuts that hold it all in place. Um, so while you're moving around, it doesn't fall off. Um, so what we're going to do for this video's sake, we're going to actually take those off and we're going to make this motor fall apart, you know, like if we did it on accident. So uh, the top bolts up here are going to be a 10 millimeter. So I got that set up already on our Makita Impact. Uh, you can use a hand, um, you know, hand ratchet if you want, regular ratchet. Just for the sake of the video, so I'm not making a 30 minute long video on putting a motor back in, we're just gonna speed it up with that impact. So you can see the two nuts came off right there. I always keep these, uh, that way if you have to ever transport a motor, uh, you could just you know use the same nuts. Uh, they fit a lot, you know, the best on there. So I always put these aside and we're gonna put this back together after two, so we'll use them again. So what he did was when he was trying to replace the bearing end cap, he lifted this guy up and well, you see, it falls apart. That's why when I'm always talking about the videos on the motors, I always, you know, say kind of cradle it from the bottom. That way it doesn't fall. You want to kind of hold it like a baby. Um, so now that this armature came out and the bottom cap came out, uh, you guys can see everything spinning freely there. Again, this was a brand new motor. It's never been spun or anything. So that's why we're going to do this video so you guys can see how it goes in. So here's the top cap. The top cap is going to have the two long bolts in it. Uh, again, sometimes these are 716, sometimes they're 10 millimeter, depending on the brand. Uh, this brand right here is going to be a 10 millimeter, so that's what we took those off with. We'll put this aside for now. So, this is where a lot of people struggle, because what happens is when this falls apart, you can't just go and toss this back in here. Because what's going to happen is, if you guys can see, the brushes, you know, they're on springs. So if you try to just push it back up, what's going to happen, you're going to bust these brushes and you're going to possibly me mess up the, the little retaining clips that hold the brushes and springs in place. So that's why it's crucial that you guys get this back in perfect. So you see how these kind of spring load right here? Let's see if I get that right there. See how they're spring loaded? So with them being spring loaded, you're going to have to hold all four at the same exact time. So the way I always do it is kind of... Bye guys. You guys can't see them, but they're over here laughing and making faces and arch dancing. But uh, so yeah, so the easiest way to do is I always use my palms and I put my palms against the motor right here, kind of like this. So we do that, that way you could actually get your four fingers and push these brushes back. So you see you got your four brushes here. Don't just go and jam this guy in there. You never want to jam it in raw or dry, right? Is that what they say? Vic? Vaseline. He says you gotta put Vaseline, but you don't want to put Vaseline because I, too much friction might be. Yeah, because it's going to slip out of your hands. Oh, you don't want to put Vaseline because it might slip out of your hands. So that's coming, uh, that's words of wisdom from Vic. So we're going to probably do a Wednesday's words of wisdom from Vic uh, starting next week. So back to the video. YouTube's probably going to demonetize this video just because of all the raunchiness that Vic says. But so here it is. Put your palms in here. It's kind of, it's not going to fall, guys, all right? They're over here criticizing me while I'm doing the video. <laughs> So we're going to kind of use our palms right here, push each one back individually, and I use my four fingers right here. And as you're doing that, you want to make sure that your armature is going to be directly below the motor so you can drop it right all in, all in one smooth motion. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. So you see, got my four fingers in there, pushing back each one, and you're going to drop right on, and you just release it on. Now, of course, we make it easy, look easy, because we've been doing this forever. Um, 
when I first started doing this, I remember Art used to walk up and just drop it in there and I'd get all pissed off because I couldn't do it. So that's why, you know, we're going to do this video for you guys to make it easier. So again, make sure you guys are pushing these brushes back in place. If you see the little gold rectangle around it, the brush is going to have to squeeze back in there all the way flush against it. So with all four fingers pushing against each one and your palms on the, the actual casing, you actually open up the gap right there and you could drop it straight onto the armature. And of course, there you go. So as you do that, it's gonna drop in place, cradle this guy like a baby, and right here in the cap, let's see if I can find it on the video for you. Um, all right, let's see right there. See that little notch out? So the cap itself is gonna be a female notch, the casing itself is gonna be a male notch. You're gonna wanna spin that guy till you feel it lock in. There you go. So. We'll pull this back out real quick so you'll see that notch right there if you push it and put a little pressure on it and rotate it it's not going to go in till it finds the correct notch once the correct notch lines up it's going to drop right back in another thing is you want to remember these red washers sometimes you come in different colors i've seen them green red um, you want to make sure these guys don't fall off these are going to be pretty much like a spacer shim for the backing plate so you want to make sure that those two if you have two make sure you're putting two back on if you have one make sure you're putting one back on so it's a pretty simple, see you guys later. So it's a pretty simple thing to do, um, but it is kind of tricky if you don't know. If you never took it apart, a lot of guys get intimidated about this. So that's why I want to kind of do a little quick video. Once that's on, if you're doing a bearing end cap, you're going to be removing this pin right here. See that pin? Um, get a pair of dikes, stick them in there, and just kick them up. Uh, if it gets a little noisy, Vic's making noise over here. Yeah, they heard you. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Yeah, so that's pretty much the basics. We'll run through it one more time. We'll pull this guy up, casing, brush, kick it back. Oh, here. I always put the stud kind of like towards my chest over here um, or my belly. And this is where the beer belly kind of works in. You guys can see it in the video. I kind of put it right here in the gut. Put it right there. That way it kind of makes it easier for you to hold. Push back all four of the brushes. So go one, two, three, and four. Right on top of the armature. You want to go slowly and make sure the brushes brushes actually catch. So what you, the brush is actually going to sit against is going to sit against it right here. You want to make sure it's all the way down on there. So here you go. Pushing brush number one back, two, three, and four. And I don't know if you can see in the video. Let's see. See, I got my fingers kind of jammed in there and they're going all the way. And then we're just gonna drop that sucker right back on there. Boom, line it up. Find the male, female a little slot. Slot, not the other word. And it's right here somewhere, there it is, boom. So it locks in place, drop it in. Hold this upright, hold like a baby, cradle it. Get the cap. And when you look in here, now this cap is only gonna go one way. So if you can see, let's see if you can find it. All right, there, see it? See the hole shining through? So you gotta make sure that lines up. You're gonna drop your cap back on. If you're not putting a bearing end cap on, you're gonna line up the female hole in the cap with the male peg. Boom, on, and then wiggle these guys into place until you find the hole, there you go. Both of them dropped right in. So again, fairly simple, not hard at all. But if you're not familiar with it, it makes it easy. Guys, there you guys go. There's a quick video for you. Vic. Subscribe, share, and like. No, the, the phone's ringing. They can't hear you. Oh, subscribe. Phone's ringing. They can't hear you. <laughs> Come on. YouTube wants to know what do they do after this video. Subscribe, share, and like. There we go. You hear the guys subscribe, share, and like the video if it helped you. It is Friday. We are trying to get home. It is beer 30. We got 12 packs sitting on ice at home. Vic. Hell yeah. There you go. Hell yeah is his answer. You guys have a good one. Thank you. Alex from Hoppos. Vic from Hoppos. And he's about to dance for you.